I just received such a good message from Eva, and uh, I'm I'm just gonna do it really quickly. Okay, the question is: Yes, I can see from a higher perspective that I am the doer. The apparent I is a condition of the past, but the apparent knowing and understanding keeps reappearing, and the ego falls back into it. The I cannot free itself from this condition. Is it just observing and constantly remembering that the ego can dissolve? That would mean that you would always sit on the cloud and just look without taking part in life. Is it just being seen that again a total ident- identification with thought has taken place? If you sit and reflect a, bit, uh, a moment about that in every single moment a rebirth is happening, um, you, the someone believing yourself to exist, is in a body where every single moment a cell is dying and another cell is coming into being. After seven years, there's nothing left of you, of the ever that, that you know today. Seven years ago, you were not the person. You're literally another person. And in every single moment, a rebirth is happening. You are reborn into every single moment. And that is what you're connecting with when we're talking about the authentic. So in the illusion of the someone believing itself to exist as this body, there's the ego and there's the authentic. As you talk about, the ego is very much about comparing, very much about, oh, I I am not, I should be something else. If you can shift that attention into the authentic, where you have an awareness in the now, you can become aware of the rebirth, the rebirth, you being reborn in every single moment. You can do that, for example, with your breath. If you sit and focus uh, on your exhale, every single exhale is different. It feels different. Um, You experience it in in a different place. It's because every moment is a new moment. So there's a re you are reborn every single moment. And that awareness you can take with you no matter where you are. You can have that when you empty a dishwasher. The reason why I'm sitting here and not where I normally sit is that this morning I woke up and the boiler is broken. So I had like 13 degrees Celsius in my house and I'm waiting for a plumber to come by. I can be in my authentic self with that because if I have an awareness of every single moment I'm reborn, then right now I experience that, yes, it's cold, so I take on a jacket. Right now, I'm waiting for the plumber to come. That is what is happening. If I start to add to that, oh, it's annoying and the boiler is broken. Now I need to call the plumber, la, 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 all that. Then I'm in the ego. Then I'm in the not accepting what is. What is right now is a very, very cool house. (laughs) Um, Me waiting for the plumber. That is what is right now. There's nothing else but that. If I keep my awareness in that, I don't need to sit on a cloud or sit on a mountaintop. I can have an awareness in my authentic where there's nothing else but what is right now. And then I don't have the need for it to be any different than it is right now. So it's okay that the boiler is broken. How can it be anything else? The boiler is broken. Me having a resistance to the boiler is broken makes no sense whatsoever. Because it is broken. No matter how miffy I get about it, it's still broken. You know what I mean? So it's about taking the identifier out of it. And then you're present in every single moment with the authentic. And there, there is no identifying with it. I'm not someone, you know, negative that has a broken boiler and that's a bad thing or or in a second I'm someone other that is good because now my boiler has been fixed. You know what I mean? There's no identifying with it. It just is. And and that you can be every single moment when you empty the dishwasher, when you pick up the kids, when you pay your bills, when you go to work. And there are lots of moments during the day between the doing and the next thing, just like your if you have a focus on your exhalation, then you focus on the exhale. Then there's a lot of time passing until the next exhalation. And it's the same thing that you can either have a focus in the ego on the doing 
or you can have a focus in the authentic, in the being. Both of them are an, an illusion. I want to make absolutely sure so you know, this is not real. It just feels real because I have a sensory experience of what is happening right now. It doesn't mean that it is real, but that's, that's for another story. I hope that was answering your question.